I 3D printed an adjustable vacuum hose for my table saw. Let's see how I did it on today's Filament Friday. So I started with this flexible tubing coupling from Thingiverse user Mihu. So I loaded the original .stl file into Simplify 3D and I doubled the size or 200%. Then I printed it on my Fabricator Mini with ABS 0.2 layer height 30% fill using a raft. And I printed a whole bunch of these so I had enough to do the whole shaft. So the next step was to make the base. So I went to Tinkercad and here's what I came up with. I've got a hollow tube going all the way through from where the vacuum will attach all the way up to the coupling which will attach to the flexible hose. And this was pretty easy because all I did was bring in a design I had from before which was a, a vacuum coupling for my miter saw and then the coupling that I just printed on the Fabricator Mini. And then I put a block in place, added a base, and I had the design. So now I needed to make the funnel and this wasn't as hard as it maybe looks. All I did was bring in a cone and then stretch the thing out lengthwise and that kind of formed it. I, I shaped it a little bit but basically this is all I did and then brought the top of it up and that's the whole shape of it. And then I brought that same coupling that I printed on a Fabricator Mini, chopped the bottom of it off and dropped down in and then put a big hole through the center of it. And then I made a duplicate of the stretched out cone, made it hollow and I had my funnel. So I printed both the funnel and the base on my Da Vinci Junior. So they were in PLA. But these little coupling pieces were in ABS. And I found the easiest way to put them together was just heat them up with a hot air gun, put them in place, and then let them cool. It worked pretty good. I had a few loose pieces, but it worked. But then I tried it on the funnel, and the PLA softened up really quick. So this one I had to fit it and then kind of squeeze it tight and then let it cool. And it ended up working okay. But for the base, I decided, you know, I really wanted this stiff. So I just used some super glue professional model and then glued it in place. And man, this thing like hardened instantly. So now it was ready to test. So I clamped it to my table saw, connected the vacuum hose, and then positioned the funnel just to the side of the blade. That way, if this thing fell, it fell down next to the blade, not into the blade. And I was ready to actually cut some wood. So here it is in action, and it seemed like it was sucking up the sawdust. The top of the table saw looked pretty clean. I wasn't getting a bunch flying over the edge. But here they are side by side. Um, one without the vacuum and one with it. And in, I thought I could see it better if I slowed it down, put it in slow motion. But I still couldn't really tell, but there was definitely less sawdust with the vacuum. So there you have it. An adjustable vacuum tube. It worked pretty good. I mean, it didn't work great, but it worked pretty good. It seemed to collect a lot of the dust, and it seemed like there was less sawdust hanging around the top of my saw or even thrown onto the floor. So I couldn't get a good feel for how much was shooting up this thing, but when I put my hand there, it was definitely, uh, I, I could feel the suction. So um, this thing was a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of 3D printing, and I don't think it turned out as good as I'd hoped. Some of the parts are still a little bit loose, so in certain positions this thing wants to fall. Um, so it's not perfect by any means, but it was fun. It was a fun print. So anyway, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching and you want to see more. And if you want to see more projects like this or other Film of Friday projects, a dollar a month to my Patreon account, it goes a long way. It really does. And it helps me keep this channel going because these videos do take a lot of time. And this one, this took a lot of printing and a lot of time to put together. Um, this was just not a one-week project. This took more than a week. It's almost two weeks to get this thing together. So that's it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.